Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Option Pit Daily Volatility Report. As I, Andrew Giovinazzi, Chief Operating Officer of OptionPit.com, welcome you to this morning. Uh, Four-day boot camp begins next week. It is a beginning boot camp. So if you want to get an idea how it will be, uh, Mark posted an options for stock traders. Again, this is our the intro, most intro level course that we could think of to using options, putting trades into the system, looking at markets. It's basic, basic, basic. Okay. Um, and actually, uh, the course is filling up. So that's great. All right. All right, everybody. And with that, uh, we are on to uh, the markets. So um, I think at least uh, uh, the big move today really is in uh, the VIX futures are bumping up a little bit. Uh, VIX Cash is bumping up a little bit with uh, stocks moving, I think, just a little. So it, it would make sense that the futures are going to hang a little bit where they are because of the weekend. Um, but right now, at least, uh, we've had a lot of volatility recently, a lot of realized vol. Uh, VIX is still, it just it's hovering right between, I would say, kind of, it's in that end of the range, uh, what I call like a zone four. It just, it, it looked like it was ready to start to slip away, uh, yesterday. And, um, I still think it has the potential to do that because what we need is we need more of sort of this macro unrest and we just haven't gotten, and we haven't gotten more of it. So there is a little less in the banking crisis issues. There's a little less on, or that whatever the European supposedly European bank issues that really didn't quite materialize. Uh, you know, Draghi had comments this week, which um, uh, again more more QE uh, that Yuan has been strengthening. So all of these these big macro issues that were causing instability over the last month, over the last two months, uh, at least they haven't gotten worse, and oil has been has at least been stabilized. So, anyway, just from a volatility point of view, um, it as we haven't seen more reasons for more volatility, and like I said earlier, the market is definitely pricing right. Right, we're still at the very. I, we're not at like the nosebleed end of the volatility range, but we are at the high end of the range, very high end of the range for what we call like normal market conditions. There isn't a, you know, there isn't a catastrophe going on really anywhere uh, globally. Uh, there's just a lot of worries that there will be. So every day that something does not happen, it should make volatility go down. Uh, but that being said. Uh, we have had the most ridiculous bounce rally um, in the last several days. So it makes sense that the market gives some of it back. But in a lot of years, this wouldn't be a bad year. <laughs> a 5% rally uh, in four days. Right? Wouldn't it, That wouldn't be a bad year <laughs> in some years. And we got it in a day. So, again, there is still the residuals of that type of volatility. And it hasn't gone away. Um, trades that we can look at, I think we should start looking at um, some downside type flies, maybe ways to uh, finance somehow, finance the premium. Uh, since we are, so we're, again, we're at that point where we kind of keep butting up against these two areas. Can we break out and go higher? Um, I don't know. At least today it doesn't look like it. Uh, but at the same time, are we just going to go back to, you know, going straight down again? I don't know if we're going to get that either. It seems to be like some mix in the middle. And usually what happens when you have that is you do get some uh, 
the volatility does subside a little bit. So, and we'll see how uh, we roll today on that. But there is a mix of stocks kind of doing, you know, Yahoo's up a little bit on uh, new talks, um, uh, trying to sell themselves again. Uh, there's a little bit of green um, around. There's a little bit of red around. And also, too, just keep an eye on the market leaders like the Googles, the Microsofts, uh, the Amazons to see if they can really break out uh, into, new, into a new area. Gold seems to have chilled out a little bit. Uh, one thing that's getting weak again is uh, the bank sector. So after really flying, um, it's starting to soften just a little bit. And uh, with that... I will see all of you in our chat, and hopefully we'll be seeing you in our uh, boot camp next week. Again, I'm not expecting a whole lot to happen from a volatility point of view. I will say, though, if VIX cash can actually settle close to even, the market is starting to accept uh, a little less volatility. So we'll just we'll see if that really holds on. All right, everybody. Have a good day.